What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Leaf and today I am listening to uh, a safari track. I think that's what it's called, right? Safari KK Safari? Yeah! I placed it in here. Anyway, off on another adventure here in Astoria, Animal Crossing New Leaf. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I hope you do. And uh, let's see what's going on around town today. Eventually, I'm going to have someone new move in, I believe. So I'm pretty excited about that. I don't see a new house on the map yet, so maybe it won't be until tomorrow. Uh, but for now, things are going quite well, I think. Um, let's see. Obviously, getting the money rock is a, is a good priority of mine. I never know where it's going to be. The, the grass is turning more yellow. Hello, Zack. Nice to get a few things done, isn't it? So what did you want, Zack? What's the latest? I've been in the mood for having a certain kind of insect in my house, Zack. Yes, a butterfly. They're carefree and elegant. So inspiring, don't you think? Would you catch one for me? Any kind of butterfly would be good, Zack. Of course. I can actually probably do that one quite easily. So that's great. And, uh, you know, I just want to stay in touch with some of my animals here in town. Some of my, and I, I almost feel it's it's rude just to call them animals. Some of my friends in town. Like these little filthy animals in town. Cow most. Cow most. Cow. Cow. Oh, come on. Cow a butterfly. There we go. That's how I wanted to say it. It's a monarch butterfly to be... Specific to be exact to be terrific to be a Zack. <laughs> oh god, what's wrong? What happened in my life? I'm playing video games all the time. Animal Crossing video games. I'm having fun doing it though. So I would say there's nothing wrong with my life. What is oh poked her. What's up, Lily? Oh Zack, I wanted to let you know that I'm embarking on a new adventure. You are not. You, I've been reading about how moving in, in is a good way to further your personal development. Well, that really resonated with me. So I decided to move on the 23rd of this month. Don't go. Zach, why do you have to say that? Now I'm not sure if moving is a good idea at all. Okay, the move is off. You're right. I just can't picture a new life without my old friends in it. There you go. Maybe I need to start sending her more letters or something. What? What's the deal? What's up, cat? Hey, Z-Bear, I got lost in thought, and now it's already evening, Purdy. So, what's up? Let's talk. I'm really into just hanging out at my house lately. Yeah, I do all kinds of stuff with the furniture, and I've just rearranged it to create a cool, chill-out spot. So, yeah, you should come over to my house and partake in all the chill outing this. Sure, I can chill. Alrighty, so what time works? I'm free after five. Uh, I can't I can't do a scheduled hangouts, huh? Change your mind? Look, I understand if you got other plans or something. I'll just invite you over some other time, Purdy. I like spontaneity. Spontan spon Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> so bring it on. How's it going? Uh, Amelia, are you still around here cuz I have a just the butterfly for you. You're going to you're going to fall in love with this butterfly. It's a monarch. So come see me. There you are. Hey, well, here we go. Having a nice time today, Zack. I certainly hope so, Ace. So what did you want, Zack? I brought a bug. I did. And it's right here. Boom. Monarch butterfly. Take that. <laughs> like, literally, take it. Ah, uh, a monarch butterfly. Thanks for fetching it for me, Zack. Ace. Just a little something and thanks, Zack. Probably something extremely modern that no one ever wants. I hope you like that, Zack. It's a gray tartan shirt. Thanks so much, Zack. All right, thanks for saying my name so many times, Amelia. I really do appreciate it. Anything up here? There's another fossil, Lidossal. Missed it. Because I'm horrible at this digging business. I dug up a fossil. I dug up a fossil. It was awesome. <laughs> That's a forced rhyme right there. I did my best. Yeah, shut up, balloon. I don't care about you. Or your balloon type. What is up, Prince? Comrade, so how's it going? So, what can I do for you? Let's talk. It's redecorating redecor time at Casa Prince. Right now, I've got a wooden stool, but I'm looking for something to replace it that's around the same size. Did you have an eye for this sort of thing? Will you let me know if you have any ideas? Feel free to stop by my place and get a sense of the space I have to work with. Can I just, like, go by there right now? Like, do I have any furniture at all? I have a hat. 
You want just like a regular old fossil that hasn't even been appraised? You probably don't. Oh boy. I'm on a mission, apparently. To make Prince happy. Why would I do that? I don't know. Just getting started today. Uh, of course it's not real. Okay. Ah, missed. Got some. Oh, I'll give that to Shrunk. Shrunk has some hilarious jokes that he'll tell me in exchange for that, so. I'm pretty pumped about it. I'm gonna check out the police station again. It's been a long. Well, I did this about a week ago or so, but it's been a long time since I've picked up anything. I could take this stuff off your hands, maybe. And then, you know, just sell it. Well, uh, I think you're looking at a pitfall seed. Will you take that item home? I'll take it. Ah, of course. Please take it with you. It's fine. Not a problem, I think. Same thing. Let's keep doing this. Well, uh, I think you're looking at a pitfall seed. Will you take that item home? I'll take it. All right. I'm going to take all this stuff, so book Booker, just, you know, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. A white lily bag that I will take home. Booyah. It's fine. Not a problem, I think. What am I looking at here? I'm looking at a daisy umbrella that I will take home. I'll take it. Boom. All right. Final thing. I'm just going to take this off your hands, buddy. Well, I think you're looking at some bubble paper. Weird. I'm used to bubble wrap, but never bubble paper. I'm going to maybe write a letter with it. Maybe. I cleaned you out, Booker. All the stuff you confiscated from the fine citizens of Astoria. I've taken back. I'm like Robin Hood. Except I'm going to sell them for myself. I probably am the richest one in town here. But you know how it goes. What are you buying today, Reese? Oyster shell. I am not going to go into the ocean and find a bunch of oyster shells for you, Reese. There's no way I'm doing that. You're going to have to leave me. You're going to have to kill me. <laughs> no. Okay, no. I don't, don't kill me, Reese. Hi. Uh, let me sell some stuff to you. I want to sell, obviously. I do. I brought in, check this, a gray tartan shirt. Oh, no, not the funky wig. These two things, these two things, and the paper. Forget it. I'm going to write my friends in town some letters. 225 bells, that's a great deal of nothing. But you know what? Look at this. I'll take this. Give it to me. Give it back to me. Take it home. I don't think anyone's gonna buy that, but that's okay. No, no, I didn't mean to click it. Reese, come on. You knew that. You're just talking to me because, okay, whatever. I'm gonna buy some stuff from you. Here we go, what is this? The lunch tray that belongs to Prince. That's great because he was actually wanting to replace something in his house. I think I'm gonna give him the, his old lunch tray. See if he even notices. He may not even notice. The boom box. Cassette player belongs to Lily. I'm gonna buy it and give it to Lily. And then what do you wanna buy? You wanna buy the pool table? No, 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 don't. Don't do it. I shouldn't? Well, if you say so, I'll pass Splish because I wanna buy it. Oh, the billiard table, yes, it belongs to Rod. I'll take it, I'll give it to Rod. Ha, take that, Lily. That's why I didn't want you to buy it, because I wanted to buy it. Now you go buy a fossil. You're in the market for a fossil. I can tell, because fossils are awesome. Yes, definitely. Then I've got to have it, Splish. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this, please. Thank you so much for buying that. That was great. And I am right in front of you, so I will take it. Thank you. All right, see ya, Puddles. Now, I'm really off. I gotta go visit Prince, give him back his lunch tray. I gotta go send some letters. Apollo might want a pool table, I don't know, he seems like a bro. Someone that wants to hang out with me, yo. Any any tweets up here? They might as well be called tweets, because the little bird goes tweet, tweet. When, you know, it does, trust me. <laughs> Not the money rock. You are not the money rock. Any, any establishments set up base here? No, none. Okay, well let me go. I'll be up back up to the top in a second. I'm taking my partial trails all around town. Let me see. Who was I looking for? Prince. 
Prince, here I come. Check it out. I got something just for you. You probably don't even know it's yours. Uh, how about this? It's a lunch tray. Get ready for it, buddy. That's a billiard table. That's not for you. Stop. Unselect. Okay, no. Cassette player. Lunch tray. Ta-da! In fact, I'm a hot dog man serving you lunch. Oh, a lunch tray! This is perfect! I'm gonna find the perfect place for it when I get home. I can't wait. See, that's how you know he's lying. It was his lunch tray, but now... Now he doesn't even want it. What's your thank you gift? Let's find out. Is it the wooden chair? No, it's a vintage telephone. Thank you, Shorty. Well, you are so welcome, buddy. I like old school. But someone else who likes that hipster stuff is Cat. So the cat's gonna get that vintage telephone for show. I forget whose stuff is whose now. I, I already have lost it in my mind. I was keeping track of it in my mind, and guess what? It slipped right on out. Let's just ignore that bug for a second. I'm going, ah, not even the money rock is there. Where's the fake money rock? I haven't even seen that today. There it is. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. And then uh, how much inventory space do I actually have? Pretty much none. I should go to the post office, write some letters, and then I know, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and trigger it right now. I knew this is the money rock. Come on, faster? What in the world is taking me so long? I'm probably gonna miss out on the last one. No, I did it, I did it, I did it. Yes, I did it again. And uh, let me just uh, put down a few tiles, because I like to uh, get a little bit done each day. That way it won't bore you guys too much, and that, that also that way I don't have to, uh, you know, do this in between. Oh, uh, no more room. That's fine. Let's, that's a little bit more space. Now what do I want to do? One thing that I want to do is go up and hear Shrunk preach the humor that he likes to tell, because it cheers me up so much, and that is an absolute lie. So let's go. Hey, Apollo, what's up? Gahaha, -ha. what a coincidence running into you today, Gahaha. -ha. So you wanted to talk to me? I want to chat. I'm not sure why, but Main Street always makes me really happy. Hooray for shopping, Gahaha. -ha. All right, hooray Apollo for shopping, Gahaha. -ha. Now we're gonna go here. The uh, pretty much the only person in town that I want to get rid of is Hopper. Hey, Shrunk, I know you're not open, but guess what? I brought you a snack. You eat a lot of weird stuff. You're an axolotl. I learned how to pronounce that the other day. Boom, a bamboo shoot. Please eat it. Tell me a joke. Soon my jokes will be full up to the core. To the maximum. A bamboo shoot. Don't mind if I do. Woo, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Hmm, then how about I tell you a really good joke today? All right, I have to get ready first, so you just wait right here a sec. All right, get ready. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My sadness joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. Have I ever got a serious case of the blues today? Wanna know why? I was woken up early this morning by a voice that came out of nowhere. Shrunk, shrunk, shrunk! Yes, there was a ghost in the room, so I hid under the covers. And then the ghost called out again. No more, no more, no more jokes! Can you believe it? I'm even getting booed from the great beyond. Come on, ghost, I'm already retired. You'd think they'd just leave me alone. Sometimes, it's no comedy for him, it's all tragedy. So yeah, what'd you think? I think this is the first time you've seen my sadness joke. All right, I got another joke for the joke book. Let's see me be sad, but how can I possibly be sad dressed up like a hot dog man? Oh, the weight of the world is on my shoulders. It's purple. <laughs> all right. Now you know what I want to do. I want to take a quick little break. Not a break, so to speak. I want to take a little trip to the post office to write some letters. Keep my townspeople happy, keep them interested, keep them here. They don't have to be long and detailed. Do I have room for them? I do. This was from Apollo. Hey, Zach, when I look at you, I get the feeling I need to work a little harder. Oh, don't tell anybody I wrote something like that to you. Our secret. Slush. No, shush. And be shushed. All right. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and toss that. I'm going to go ahead and start writing a letter. Let's write one here to Apollo. Uh, like... 
Hey, bro. Here's a table. For you to swim on. <laughs> get it? It's a pool table. I wonder if he'll get the joke. It's not. It's only slightly better than a uh, shrunk joke. And then uh, let me take my my uh, billiard table. Oh, so these are even called pool table. So man, that's a big stretch. <laughs> okay, so write an another letter. This one's gonna go out to uh, Lily. Dear Lily. This is going to be simple. Do not leave. There we go. Very simple. I don't want to go into a big detailed thing here. And I'll send her a red a rose. There we go. I also got a cassette player for Rod and a vintage telephone for Cat. So let's see how that's going to work out. Write a letter. This one's going to be to Rod. And then uh, listen to this when you work out again nothing too clever nothing funny but I am just trying to uh, you know get this thing done send out some letters maybe they'll send me some letters tomorrow also I'm, I'm using up this paper clearing out a slot in my inventory and this is to cat I don't know what to say except this is so you I will be call, oh, calling just you wait we're gonna be flirting with her <laughs> she loves it okay and this is the vintage telephone Ta-da! All right, now, look at this. Now I got like four things to mail. Pelly, check this out. I got some stuff to mail. Send the mail. Sure thing. Uh, I am going to send it to a person in Astoria. All of these will go to people in Astoria. Every single last one to the last drop. Drippity drop, y'all. Okay. Got it. All right, I'll send this mail off at once. Thanks for choosing the Astoria Post Office. Well, thanks for having me, Pelly. Now I'm going to go to the Able Sisters place to see if there's any, if there are any new masks. Then I'm going to go to the TNT Emporium, and then I will be done for today. Uh, have I got a lot done? That's a tough call. That's really no. I would say no. The answer is I haven't really gotten anything new done today. Oh boy, that makes me sad. But that looks new right there. It's like a skull face or something. I don't have this one, that's exciting. The skeleton hood, good choice. And everyone can enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy it myself. I'll take it right now. Then I'll wear it, I'll be spooky, but I'll still be wearing my, I got my bones. That's pretty cool, maybe there's a, like a bone shirt. That would be awesome to get like a full bone set. But I haven't seen the bone shirt lately. I don't even know if it's gonna be here. Hey Mabel, how's it going? Yeah, I don't even see anything special. But let me go ahead and uh, switch out really quick. Just put on my, uh, is it a hat or a helmet? Wear the skeleton hood. Oh, cool, so I can still wear my awesome glasses. So that's perfect. I'm looking really spooky, spooktastic. Now, going next door to TNT. TNT, Dynamite Emporium. I don't think they sell dynamite here. No, there's Hopper. I'm gonna do my best to ignore him so he leaves town quick. Now, here we go. Let's see here, that's a happy fertilizer. The price is, um, oh, that's right, it's a lot of money. Yes, I'll buy it. All right, and then I'll get this as well. Cedar sapling. 60 bells, that sounds like a good deal. That is something I actually want. Now let's take a look over here. Gonna buy this candy as well. I don't know how many candies I actually need for Halloween, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it right now. It's 400 bells, I'll take it. How much room do I have left in my inventory? 
I got two more spaces, but I can always sell that fertilizer. Uh, Neapolitan, a fine item, yes. Checking my list, though. Let's see if I have that. I may not have Neapolitan. In fact, I don't recognize that name. Uh, where would it be? I have it, actually. Yes, it's a fine item, but I'm out of here. I already have it. Man, would you believe that, Tommy? Move, Hopper. KK Soul. Man, I've, I swear I've said that combination of words so many times. Um, I probably have it, but let me find it on my list just to make sure. KK Soul, where are you? Show me KK Soul, please. Oh, come on. Don't make me look up. I got it. I knew I had it, though. Come on. No, I don't need it. Thanks. Understood. Now, we can go up to the stairs. Upstairs, to be specific. And see if there's any, if there are any special Halloween decorations. I already have that lantern right there. Okay, welcome, welcome. Interior design floor. What is that? A freaking... A polka dot low table. Nope, I don't want it. No, thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. My telephone's ringing, but I'm not going to get it. That's going to be up to Ashley to get that. What is this? Is this is like a vacuum cleaner. Don't want it. Going to going to Gracie's place. Gracie Grace. And I'm uh, going to see what if there's anything new. Holy moly. Everyone's still rocking the hot dog helmet. Oh, but there's an ice cream sundae helmet too? You've got to be joking, kidding me. This is all about desserts. Banana split hat. That is great. Can I try it on? Oh, that looks so cool. And then, uh, how much is it, though? It's a little... Okay, yeah, that's sold. Weird combination of numbers, but I'll take it. Wrap it up. And then... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, this looks kind of cool, but not really. Just gotta see if it's the same sweet set. Yep, sweets floor. Get me out of here. I'm just browsing. Well, guys, I'm gonna go pick up my money from the money rock. I don't have to do that on camera. I can always do that off. So I will see you next time and come back then for more. Whoa, excuse me. I look pretty fancy, right? With this little skull helmet, right? Anyway, come back then uh, tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.